Hey everyone, it's John Chow here from JohnChow.com. It is Saturday. I'm here at the South OC Cars and Coffee here at the San Clemente Outlet. The show has just started. The crowd is huge this week. There's a long lineup, long lineup call. Let me show you, let me show you. I mean, the lineup goes as far as the eye can see. And the reason there's a huge turnout this week is uh, basically we're showing our support for the event. Uh, you see what happened was uh, last week, uh, the show got a, I guess a call from uh, the San Clemente Mall's outlet management. And they were concerned with some of the uh, behavior by a few idiots, so to speak. Uh, the show has three simple rules. No revving, no speeding, no burnouts. And what happens is generally when you get 600 plus cars together, there's always going to be a few idiots who's going to want to rev the motors and stuff. And well, last week we had to ban a couple of people and then a few more idiots decided to do a burnout on the way out of here and cause $3,000 of damage cleanup to the, uh, you know, to, to, to clean up the road. So uh, what basically in a, in a nutshell, what happened is uh, the, the mall's concerned that say, you know, uh, this kind of behavior continues, they're gonna shut the show down. And of course, you know, you don't wanna shut the show down because it's, it's a fantastic show. So, uh, uh, Simon, the organizer, sent a little, little note to everybody say that, you know, please respect the rule. We are guests here, you know, like uh, this is a business. So, and if you want the show to continue, you know, respect the rules. No revving, no speeding, no burnout. And uh, if you see anyone, if you're at the show and you see anyone doing, violating the rule, record them, record them, ban them, or we'll get them banned, right? So as you can see, uh, looks like everyone's out tonight to show their support and we'll be ever vigilant, all right? So let's check it out, let's check out the show. When I was driving here today, there was a, the lineup goes all the way outside the mall. Everyone's coming in, it's absolutely crazy today. Wow, and the lot is, it's full. The show just started, a lot of this, this could be, this could be the biggest event of the whole year. We'll begin as usual. Simon's uh, Kamel, organizer of Cars and Coffee. Here's a Whipple, Whipple Charge, big V8, making 800 horsepower. Kamel, Fry 488. California, Jay's Ford GT. Very nice. Jay's quite a bit of a jokester. Here's a, he, this is his weekend ride. He, his uh, daily driver is a uh, Honda Insight. Oh, nice! Look at this from the Miami Vice Day, the Ferrari Testarossa with nice customized wheels. Nice, I like that. Let's take a look. Let's take a close look at this. Ground level interior. Oh, check it out. There's the gated shifter. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think that's a control for the for the mirrors. When's the last time you've seen these, huh? Huh? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, and a keyhole for the gas cap opener. That's, uh, this brings back memory here. And look how wide that rear end is. Right, from this view, wow. Wow. Nice. And next to it is a, a Mercio Lago Spider. Nice. <laughs> a B2 bomber. Appropriately named, too. Uh, this has the uh, the E gear, and there's the paddle. GT40 replica by uh, I think it's Hillbank Performance. Yeah, Hillbank uh, makes these kits. They're a company in Irvine, and they actually look pretty cool. If you want the uh, you know Ford versus Ferrari, the uh, the GT40 that beat. The, uh, the Ferrari, this is it. In fact, uh, Hillbank provided the, uh, the cars for the, for the movie. So this is a really nice replica. I and mean, he's got the plastic windows and got the Shelby motor. You can also get it with, a, with an EcoBoost V6. So you can have daily reliability to in a racing sports car. Another Lamborghini, this is the Aventador S in spider form. I mean, Roadster form, convertible form, so. Wow, 
look, uh, uh, carbon options everywhere. Uh, Lamborghini normally make compromises, but wireless charging. Yeah, there you go, wireless charging. He still has a, uh, oh, uh, I still, uh, I see, he has an iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice. And we have a Lamborghini Gallardo with a all kitted out. Huracan like kit. Giant wing in the back. Let's take a look at the giant wing. Actually, I like this feature in the passenger area. The fan. Okay, the fan. Keep, keep you cool that way. Who needs AC? <laughs> the wheel of this thing is just crazy. Look at that. Exhaust right out the back. The third light. The Montana plate. I love that, the Montana plates. <laughs> if you're wondering about the Montana plate, see, uh, a, a lot of supercar owners register the car Montana because it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper, and they, well, they keep it here, but they register the Montana. It's, a, it's like a tax dodge. Yeah, but shh, don't tell anyone. McLaren 720S. This one is a more sensible McLaren. Unlike the, the last 720 I showed you, the Spider with every option, this one is way to save money. So uh, regular, no carbon, no carbon. Regular mirror, no carbon mirror, no carbon that. So uh, actually, no carbon at all. So, you know, for me, that's pretty smart because you, know, you can spend $100,000 of carbon options on a McLaren. Or you could have basically, you know, have the car look pretty much the same and save yourself hundred grand. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. Acura NSX. Yeah, it's a performance hybrid. Yeah. Green Huracan. Yeah, thank you. I I like it myself. I bought it. In nice. And a Huracan Spider. Huracan Spider, nice, nice, uh, musterish yellow. And you know, I love the start button. It looks like a missile launch thing. You flip that up and you push the button to start. Like you're about to, you know, start World War III or something. And, oh, should be racing. It's a turbo char setup. So you got a twin turbo. That's the inner cooler with the sheep. About to here to two turbos right there. And then out the back of the exhaust right here. Okay, cool. All right, very nice clean job. Audi R8. This looks like a Porsche 911, but uh, it is, and it is. But uh, it's powered by an LS V8. So there's a Corvette motor in here. <laughs> well, it's totally stripped out the interior. There's not a Corvette motor in here. Well, oh, like oh, there's not? Okay. Oh, there was not a one in there that had, a, had an yeah. LS. Yeah, orange one. The orange? Okay, yeah, so this is a, reg this is a regular, regular flat yeah, six? Yeah, okay. Regular. My mistake. Thank you for correcting me. California, another California. I, there's a lot, it's full, only one spot left for a supercar. Ferrari, another Audi. We have a Bentley here. And right here we have PFS uh, McLaren 570. That's right, protective film solution. They offer wraps and and uh, you know wraps and protection film for your for car for supercars and your car, and I guess this is their demo vehicles. They they wrapped it up quite nicely. From mile to while, your choice. <laughs> Rashawn Mills, I love it. Audi R8 is a 720 with. A lot of carbon option, like I said, unlike that other one that saves some money. So this one has a, uh, this, it didn't go too wild. So you got the carbon here, but just regular black here. And it's got the carbon in the mirror. And he's no, just regular here. So, and the wing's not carbon. And I believe that is not carbon. So, you know, a tasteful amount of carbon, but you know, it didn't go wild on it. One of the cool things about this convertible is uh, its visibility. Generally, when you have a convertible with these kind of buttress, it's hard to see out the back. But for uh, McLaren, did something cool. 
See this piece here? This is glass. This is glass. So when you're looking out the side, you can actually see through the glass and uh, have better visibility. Austin Martin Vantage, another Audi R8, a vintage Porsche. I guess this is a vintage Porsche now as well. And is this is the is this the one with the uh, with the V8? I, I don't know now. I forgot. <laughs> Porsche and oh, this is nice. It's for sale. So, if you're looking for a 914, asking 31,500. The SoCal Blood Bank is here. So if you wanna donate some blood, welcome to do so. Why not? You know, come uh, check out some cars and maybe see some lives. Here's a nice roll of classic vintage Camaros, you know, representing the, the 70s, uh, the 60s. Here's a, a 350, sometimes known as a Zapper, Z28. Here's a what, 396. Nice. This one is one of my favorite. It's beautifully restored. I mean, uh, 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 check that out. That is so cool. And the interior, I mean, it's like, you know, the white and the, the white vinyl with the, with, the, with the trimmings here. I mean, and the, 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 the eye shifter, oh man. <laughs> nice. And here we have the, uh, the new Camel, the new generation with a big V8 on it. And this is very nice. That's a nice touch, housing the uh, intake like that. And uh, there we have uh, this uh, big old vintage Chevy with the uh, with a Corvette motor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very nice. And another vintage Camaro again with an updated LS motor. Yeah. And over here we have a whole roll of Corvettes. So this, I guess, this is Chevy Lane right here. Z01 Cromel, Farley the Mustang, nice. All right, check it out. This is the new Ford GT500, the big Shelby, 760 horsepower supercharged V8. Yeah, this is the most powerful Mustang ever made. It's a tire shredder. You know, you want to do a block long burnout, this will do it. Just make sure you do not do it at Cars and Coffee. They will ban your ass. And you also get a cleaning bill for 3,000 bucks. Yeah, I, I, I noticed the, uh, the manufacturer's plate on here. So this car actually belongs to Ford. Yeah, this one doesn't have the optional carbon fiber wheel, but Looks like he has every other option. But the main thing is, is this motor. 760 horsepower. Insane. Recall seats inside. The, uh, the regular wing. Like if you get the, uh, the race package, you get a much bigger spoiler and carbon fiber wheels. And I think carbon fiber brakes as well. But yeah, it adds about 20,000 bucks to the price. And you know, if it was me, I, I would definitely get that. Yeah. Really nice in this green color too. There you go, the, uh, the Ford Shelby GT500. And right next to the uh, GT500 is a couple of vintage GT350s. Nice. Wow, look at that. Yeah, nice slicks on there. Yeah, these were made by Shelby in the 60s when the Mustang was a big, pokey, heavy thing. He lined it up and turned into a race car. And there we have a GT40. Yeah, the show is completely full today. People are just parking in the uh, basically spots you're not supposed to park at. And they're still coming in, as you can see, all trying to find parking. Yeah, trying to find parking. For sure, the biggest show of the year. 
Then again, we only had two so far this year, so you never know. Woo, that sounds nice. Those are welcome at Cars and Coffee, as long as you pick up after them. ZR1 Corvette, most powerful Corvette ever made, 700 and 750 horsepower so on the motor, carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber wing. This owner got all the racing option, including a proper manual transmission. Yes. I mean, the only thing that I question is the, uh, the chrome wheels. A little bit too blingy for me. I'll go, I think I'll stick with a black one. I'll stick with the black wheels. Yeah, but you know, chrome wheels, if you want some bling, sure, why not? Okay, this is my pick for car of the week. It's a Hudson Hornet, you know, like from the movie Cars. And look at that motor, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, what in the world is that set up? This is a, this is a supercharger. Holy crap, look at that. So you can see the crank. That turns the crank, that turns the charger and goes into, it goes into the carburetor with an H pipe. <laughs> I mean, you have to really appreciate this stuff to look at the engineering involved with this. I mean, that fact when they first made it, you know, mathematically and engineering speaking, it, it would, you would say it would never work. But they managed to make it, they actually managed to make it work. Oh my God, I mean, I haven't seen an H-pipe on a supercharger in, actually, I never seen an H-pipe on a supercharger. That is just crazy. Yeah, car of the week, and I hope the owner fully restores you to your majestic glory. Oh my God, it's the three wheel with lion. You might have recalled this thing from the show Top Gear where Jeremy Clausen kept flipping it over. Now oh, here you go. Anyone want to try with line tipping? No? Come on. <laughs> you don't have to, you have to tip it over. You just turn and you'll tip over. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. So it's, it's right-hand drive, a British car, a three-seater, and it's probably about as stable as, a, uh, as some guy on crack. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That's so cool. I mean, I would feel totally unsafe driving this thing. And when it comes to a corner and turning, I would be going very, very slow. Unless you want to be like Jeremy Clarkson. Now that is a cool micro bus. I can't believe how big the show is today. I mean, Everyone's still trying to find parking and it's totally full. Wow. Now this is awesome. I believe it's a dagger. Yeah, let's look, look at that interior. Oh, wow. Yeah, that center insurance panel right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, uh, V12, V12. Split window in the back, that's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, 39 dagger, that's what it is. Huracan Performante Spider going the supercar road. Let's continue. So we have a GT3, uh, a, a Volkswagen. Cool. Okay. 356 Pista, 911. The uh, Huracan is going to park. So hey, I see the backup camera on his uh, on his instrument panel. Pretty cool. All right. So GT3. 911 Turbo, a flying purple people eater, uh, a white, white monster, another GT3, a 600 LT Spider. 
LT Spider 600. So nice. And ooh, look at that. Blue titanium exhaust tips. I like that. And oh, he has an aftermarket titanium exhaust. You can get a good look at that right there. So probably sounds pretty good. Vintage NSX, the new NSX. i3 Spider and McLaren 720S Spider. Nice. Spiders. Another NSX. 670 long tail, so 675 long tail. Another Performante. R8 V10 convertible, 488. And an Austin Martin right here. All the motorcycles. And over there we have a few more supercars. So I see a Porsche, Ferrari, Ferrari, Lamborghini, GT40, another McLaren, Lamborghini, and a couple of more McLaren, both 720s. And oh, I don't see these quite often. An SLS Mercedes, AMG. 6.3 liter V8. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this coverage. Uh, this happens every Saturday from 9 to 11. As long as everyone obeys the rule, the, the show will keep going on. So if you're in the area, come check it out. Uh, John Chow for JohnChow.com. Thank you very much. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.